learners, we learned about wetlands in the previous session. They are the transitional ecosystems which form as a result of different interactions between land and water. Wetlands are vital for human survival. They help stabilize water supplies, protect from storms, floods and droughts and recharge groundwater. Because of the extensive food chain and biological diversity, a befitting way to describe wetlands would be as biological supermarkets. Just like the forests are referred to as the lungs of the landscape, wetlands are called the kidneys of the landscape. This is because their water purifying abilities. Wetlands provide habitats for the rich biodiversity including rare amphibians and migratory birds. Wetlands are also sites of tourism and recreation across the country interwoven in its cultural traditions and local values. All these benefits that wetlands provide are called their ecosystem services. In provision of these ecosystem services, wetlands provide fresh water for drinking, irrigation and groundwater recharge. They act as stopover sites for species of thousands of migratory birds for resting, feeding and breeding. They purify water by locking up pollutants and heavy metals in their sediments and vegetation. They act as natural storage reservoirs, moderating the depth and speed of excess flowing water, thereby protecting areas from storms and floods. They form the habitats for a number of unique, highly threatened and near threatened species. They provide a range of edible plants like makhana and water chestnuts. They provide habitat for many animals including birds, fishes, mollusks, mussels, prawns and crabs. They act as natural carbon sink by sequestering atmospheric greenhouse gases and help in mitigating climate change impacts. They provide livelihood to different people including fishermen, farmers and artists. They have traditional knowledge and cultural significance. They are the sites of nature tourism. Despite these numerous services, wetlands have been viewed as wastelands for a long time. This has in turn led to their conversion to residential and agricultural areas. Many have also turned into garbage dumping areas. Wetlands are disappearing three times faster than forests. To address the threats to wetlands, on February 1971, in the Iranian town of Ramsar, the representatives of 18 nations put their signatures to the text of a remarkable treaty popularly called the Ramsar Convention. It is still the only worldwide convention dedicated for the conservation of one type of ecosystem. Countries which join the convention commit to protect their wetlands and designate internationally important wetlands as Ramsar sites. As on date, more than 170 countries with more than 2,500 Ramsar sites are part of this convention. India ratified the Ramsar Convention on February 1st, 1982 by designating two wetlands to the Ramsar list, Chilka and Keoladeu National Park. 
India has fast paced the efforts for conservation and management of these Ramsar sites, also known as Amrit Dharohars, since they are important natural heritage of the country. By 2022, India designated 75 wetlands as Ramsar sites, covering an area of 1.33 million hectares. Let us do an activity. Give the names of the Ramsar sites in your state or neighboring states. Prepare a list of benefits, that is, services and products you get from the wetlands. This was all for this session. In this session, we learned about various benefits that we get from wetlands. In the next session, we will come up with some other topic. Till then, try finding out wetlands in your area and try to study them, observe them. Thank you.